Guys, I did it. I found possibly the worst YouTube channel on the platform. Maybe just in terms of how shit their shorts are. I introduce you to the protagonist of this manga arc, the villain with trash and niche keke genkai who's inevitably going to be top jutsu by a wild Naruto. This lad's name is Successful Den, probably Steely Dan's unwanted aborted child. The only thing this gentleman is successful in is in making shit content and having abnormally large pepperoni nipples. Also, just a disclaimer, I'm gonna have the sounds off during his shit videos cause he potentially uses copyrighted music. Trust me, you're not missing out on much by not listening to garbage TikTok songs. Jesus Christ, this guy's reaction is spot on. Look at the size of those milkers. Now, I'm not a fan of making fun of somebody's body or body parts, especially aspects that are impossible to change. But hey, Den, Papa John's called and they want their pepperonis back. Like, Jesus, this guy's nipples are larger and it has more size in every dimension that it puts a pregnant mother to shame. But anyways, let's get back to the video. So Den takes off his shirt and uses it as a method of drying his hands. What's the content? I don't get it. Is the joke supposed to be he took off his shirt to infatuate other men near him with his pepperoni nipples? Or is the joke just the fact he copped them from a Domino's pantry? So yeah, it's no surprise all his pranks are fake, but then, if you're gonna make a prank video, at least make it original. I've seen this classic hoodie camo fake ass prank since the dawn of time. The first thing I saw coming out of my mother's womb was a douche tuber faking a backwards hoodie prank. I swear, this dude's comedy peaked in third grade. You can kind of tell from his face that he's the one kid who hasn't hit puberty yet, but he's jacked from all the steroids and ketamine and adjusted up his ass. I swear, this dude's the reverse detective Conan. Body of an adult, but brain of a child. Oh look, he's doing it again to a poor guy on the subway. Hey, wait a minute. I think I've cracked a code. Get the gang out of the mystery van. The guy getting squirted on is the same guy from 10 seconds ago. I wonder if this guy was paid to do this with Den, or if he's an actual friend of his. I think he's most likely a paid actor wanting to make a quick buck, because if my friend said, hey, let's make comedy that only 8 year olds would laugh at, I wouldn't be his friend. I'd tell him to stop, think about his life decisions, and have him apologize to Domino's for stealing their largest pepperonis. Yeah, that's an accurate reaction if I saw huge ass nipples in the fruit aisle. Now let's go monkey mode and take this situation semi-seriously and pretend these two people aren't paid actors. First, why are you shirtless when it looks like it's cold from the attire the other people are wearing and second, just why are you half naked? If I was a woman in the video, I would also choke on whatever shit I'm eating. Not because I'm now suddenly craving for a Pizza Hut pepperoni pizza with a Dr. Pepper, or because there's a man with a great physique. It would be because there's a man half naked in my Walmart, which makes me think that you're a sex offender. I would be fucking intimidated if I saw a naked man standing next to me in public. I would call security, if not the police, and get you out of here. You look dangerous to be near women and children, you look fucking creepy as shit, and I don't want you near me or anybody else for that matter. Ah uh, yes, another outstanding reaction to seeing a buy one get one free on pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut. Fun fact, they're actually doing the exact deal at my local Pizza Hut, it's hilarious. But it's even better than Den here because the deal goes for any pizza, not just pepperoni. So because I made a lot of references to pepperoni pizzas, what do you think is the most accurate pizza for Den's nipples? 
I personally think the shitty frozen microwave ones are the most accurate. Just think about it for this class's homework. But yeah, that's about it. Peace.